In the criminal justice system, the people Pimps, addicts, thieves, bums, winos, girls who can't keep an address and men who don't care Are represented by two separate yet equally important groups A cop, a flatfoot, a bull, a dick, John Law, you're the fuzz, the heat, your poison, your trouble, your bad news These are their stories And here it is in all its glory <laughs> Alex Jones's co-host is in prison lockdown now, 23 hours a day. Oh, humanity. InfoWars host Owen Schroyer has supposedly been put in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day. I'm no expert on the number of hours there are in a day, but I'm pretty sure that's most of the day, isn't it, Kim? How many hours are in a day, Kim? Google I'm it. I'm going to say 24 Mm-hmm. So 23 is all but mm. one hour. What did he do that he got locked in solitary? He will remain in solitary. I'll get to that in a moment until mm -hmm. the 28th of this month at the earliest. At that time, his normal privileges will be reinstated. For now, he's only able to communicate via email. What? Wait a minute. You get the internet when you're in solitary? They've cut back his time on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> It is. Listen, we're going to, you'll only be able to communicate via email and your Netflix subscription is going to be cut back to only <laughs> two hours a day. That's not right. Disney Plus is going to limit you to six hours of viewing a week. Uh, the deal is he got two months in uh, prison for taking part in the January 6th insurrection. He admitted to leading a march uh, to near the Capitol steps um, and he pleaded guilty as you're aware, what he was trying to do, to Kim's question, is he was trying to actually do his show from prison. Mm -mm. Yeah. He um, he has uh, he published a bunch of incendiary statements. He called them statements from prison uh, on phone calls and essentially host his own radio show from inside the federal prison by doing it in this way, I guess, that is through various recorded phone calls that are then distributed on the network of followers that are InfoWars. It's pretty crazy. Uh, they say that he's being, you know, punished for his speech, et cetera, but the ruling is 23 hours a day in solitary. Meantime, the With guy who said, I, I was only filming <laughs> January 6th. I didn't actually, I wasn't rioting on January 6th. As he recorded a video of his journey through the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, his name is John Earl Sullivan. He captured himself shouting at rioters to seize the American seat of power, mm. breaking a window inside a Senate office, and then filming the fatal shooting of rioter Ashley Babbitt outside the House chamber. He was followed by another film crew, capturing him helping a rioter scale a wall to reach the upper west terrace of the Capitol, wielding a switchblade knife near the House chamber. And when he was talking about the Babbitt video, even that day, he was yelling, everybody's going to want this. Nobody has it. I'm selling it. I can make millions of dollars. And indeed, he did sell the video of Ashley Babbitt being shot for more than $90,000. He's been one of the thousands of rioters that were seeking to cause mayhem that day, according to federal prosecutors. They charged him with felony obstruction, et cetera. And when his case landed before the jury this week, he said he was simply working as a citizen journalist no. to document history. No. I mean, all of these people had phones. They're all recording it. Are they all citizen journalists? Please. He said, it's my job to document and record history. Um, the jury didn't believe him, and yesterday he got um, a guilty verdict after deliberating for uh, less than four hours. They're sending him away. Good day, mm -hmm. sir! Yeah. So the sentencing will follow. There he is, uh, and it is a good day, sir, situation. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, you know her. The former White House spokesperson. She is now... The governor of Arkansas, she billed taxpayers $13,000 for college football 
kickoff party, according to records, everyone. Yes. I'm going to have a big party and you're going to pay for it. Yeah, exactly. It's um, it's a wild idea. Ooh, but it's a wild idea, but it just might work. The invitation only, quote, undefeated party took place on September 1st, the night before the University of Arkansas, the Arkansas Razorbacks, played their first game of the season. They've since had a rough season. It's been three and seven season, Kim. I don't need to tell you. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard times in Arkansas. Yeah. Uh, the publicity uh, around head coach Sam Pittman, three costume mascots, and the University of Arkansas cheerleaders, dance team members, and school band all showing up to the party, it brought them a high profile. And that entire thing there at the governor's mansion was funded by $13,081, and it was paid for by the taxpayers of Arkansas. Yeah. The um, commission also paid $449 for 600 buttons uh, from Dillard's, which I guess is a, you know, isn't that a restaurant? I, th I thought it was a, a like a, a department store. What is D Dillard's? Is a department store? Google is it, it. Tony, what's a D what's Dillard's? Is it, anyway, Dillard's had a bunch of buttons, and they were paid for by um, by taxpayers. They also included uh, expenses yes. for bamboo play. It's oh, is it? It's a department store. Okay. Yeah, their their slogan is the style of your life. No, wow, that's I. It's catchy. There's actually. never been anything like I this. I may have to try to get into it. Yeah. Um. Sanders is facing additional scrutiny after public records show her office paid $19,000 for a lectern mm -hmm. and a whistleblower accused her office of covering up that spending. Ah, it's right on brand for all of them, isn't it? And sure, finally, man. I will leave you a little something of the anti-Semitism that is Elon Musk. Twitter has been the platform by which a lot of anti-Semitic and honestly racism, anti-Semitic. There's the lectern. Nineteen nineteen thousand for that. For that? Yeah. Wow, she should come to me with me and shop for glasses. <laughs> yeah. She has no problem spending the big money. Anti-Semites are saying that Elon Musk is. Um. He's on their side, the side of, side of anti-Semitism. His latest tweets about Jews really have many Jewish leaders and anybody who's sort of uh, level-headed rankled and angry. And at least one advertiser yesterday says they are dropping X or Twitter. Musk sparked the criticism with six words that he posted. The social media app X that he purchased a year ago he posted this, uh, responding to another user who had accused Jews of hating white people and had expressed indifference to an anti-Semitism. Musk wrote, quote, you have said the actual truth. And Musk has been fighting with the Anti-Defamation League for months now over its efforts to reduce extremism on, on the X platform. And yesterday morning... The ADL's CEO said that Musk was acting dangerously. At a time when anti-Semitism is exploding in America and surging around the world, it is indisputably dangerous to use one's influence to validate and promote anti-Semitic theories. Uh, accounts with histories of espousing anti... Espousing is a ding word. Uh, Anti-Jewish views celebrated Musk's tweet as welcome news and his confirmation that he agrees with them on the JQ which is short for the Jewish question. I mean, it's so despicable that I Wait, can't believe that this is going on. Is there a specific JQ? Well, JQ refers to a World War II thing. In, in Nazi Germany and the Third Reich, the Jewish question was what they spoke of when speaking of what was also called the final solution, the final solution to the Jewish question, okay, to the Jewish problem, problem of the Jews. Okay. That was... The history of that, um, I don't know if you'd call it a, a phrase, maybe. The phraseology is attached to that. Oh, okay. So that's what that is. That's a, these are 
highly inflammatory incendiary phrases. Okay. And so that's what, what that is. So that see, it goes to the heart yeah. of, of recent anti-Semitism. And uh, there's not much you can... I've, I've seen calls for the government of the U.S. to force Musk out of Twitter, to shut down Twitter. There was a call for the government contracts with Elon Musk and with his company, uh, the boring company, SpaceX, uh, to, be, to be cut off because of this. What I've told you before, we even have a short about this. Remember, Tony, we've got a short about Musk is so powerful, his tentacles are so extensive you need him so badly you've become dependent on him for launching satellites for starlink communications for all of these different government contracts that have nothing to do with twitter and x that you cannot heal that dog you can't bring him to any kind of reasonable justice there's no way to punish him if you want to think of it that way he's being investigated for uh, various uh, employment and civil rights violations for tax violations, but there's really a limit to what you can do to Elon Musk. He's in control. His tail is wagging the government dog. So he's become too powerful. There's not much you can do, except you can shed more light on this, uh, this horrifying, really despicable, grotesque speech, and hope that in shedding light on it, uh, people turn their back on him. I mean, if but, I can show you the picture of it, but I find this highly questionable. It's edited, and I don't like the way this looks. Because okay. he, he didn't put the actual quote tweet. He took a screenshot. So I was just saying I'd like to see what he was responding to because see how the line goes up. He, there's there's more to this thread, and I wish I could see it. Okay. Because something this – yeah, I agree, but um, yeah. But you think yeah. there's more – well, he hasn't issued any retraction, which is exactly. odd to me. I know. I, I just – That's the only thing I would say that, you know, sort of – suggest that it might be legit i mean again i don't know i get it he's responding to this latest the last thing here so obviously there's just bad shit you know written there but okay just yeah. i wish I, I wish i could see more because it's just all right. yeah that's all well with that yeah but at the same time i agree he's in control of a whole, whole lot of stuff <laughs> yeah you just i mean you just don't have the options that you think you could we're gonna cut out we're gonna cut off government contracts you can't he's meeting yeah, with yeah, world yeah. leaders yeah it's i he's mean running he's running a space program now at this right, point exactly <laughs> exactly I mean, he can turn off the lights anytime he wants. He can do it in, in ways that aren't all of a sudden. He can just slow things down if you wanted to. You don't, you don't want to get into, you know, a peeing match with uh, Elon Musk. That's law and disorder for today. Tune in again next time for more Law and Disorder on The Mark Thompson Show. All right, that's it. Let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell, you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.